What's going on guys? Steve Kemp, SK Photography. I'm here in New Hope, Pennsylvania. The Delaware River is right there. I have the front row seat here. Right behind you is the Bucks County Playhouse, best seat in the house. Uh, today I'm actually gonna be doing, or should I say tonight, I'm gonna be doing a how-to photograph fireworks video. Um, last time I came here, this is my third attempt at shooting fireworks. The first time I shot them, it was pretty much, I had my exposure from anywhere from three to five seconds. I didn't seem that would work for me. Um, the first time I shot, you know, I was at three to five seconds and the pictures tended to just come out like you would take it with a digital camera, how it exploded, so on and so forth. Uh, last Friday I came here, took some photos of the fireworks with my exposure anywhere from 10 seconds to 15 seconds, but I try to keep it from 10 to 13. My f-stop was at f11 or aperture for some of you and uh, I used a remote control but I did not have it on bulb. What I had it on was I actually set my shutter speed to where I wanted it, and I found that to be easiest for me. But the only problem with that is when you set it at a certain shutter speed and you want to go longer, you're going to have to stop taking photographs of the fireworks. You're going to have to get a flashlight, shine it on your camera, and change it manually. Um, with bold mode, that's actually preferable because you control how long you do it. Let me give you an example. I pretend I have a controller here. You go. Shutter's open, you're capturing the light, you're capturing the light, you're capturing the light, you're capturing the light. That was about five seconds. You control how long you want. It could be five seconds, it could be 5.1 seconds, it could be 5.5 seconds. So that gives you a little bit more depth and you know where you want to go with your shots. Um, the reason why I'm here again is, well, I kind of figured out that I love taking photos of fireworks, you know, just the colors in them, the designs that they make, they're really cool. Um, but the, what I figured out last time was that my pictures were just slightly out of focus. Now, how do I tell? Well, when I zoom in, it gets more blurry and blurry. Granted, that's with any picture you really take, depending on what lens you use, so on and so forth. But um, you definitely want to you know, keep an eye out for everything on your shutter speed. Tonight, I'm going to do my shutter speed ar again around 10 to 15 seconds. And uh, I'm just here just to get my uh, images to really pop. Like I said, last time the images didn't come out quite as focused as I wanted to, but hopefully I'll be able to fix that today. Now, speaking of focusing, how do you focus on a firework? Well, a couple ways you can do it. First, you can do it manually. Switch your lens over to manual, and there's that little circle around it. Use that. I prefer don't like to use that because what might seem good to your eye in your little three inch screen might not look big on your 27 inch Mac, Mac uh, Apple computer, whatever. Blah. And um, so that's why I'm here. Another way to do it is wait for the first couple of fireworks to go off, the real big ones, and set your lens to automatic focusing, quickly uh, focus on it, and then bam, switch your lens over to manual, and then there you go. You don't have to change that focusing at all. All you gotta do is hit the button and it'll take the picture for you. So uh, hopefully tonight I'll be able to fix my problem as to where uh, my focusing went wrong. The picture still came out great, but uh, I would like to blow up a picture of a firework and I'm here just to take one more shot at it. A um, couple shout outs I want to do right now is uh, Nick Misiano. He's right behind the camera. I really want to thank him. He's been a good buddy of mine. Uh, actually, he's going to be enlisting in the Army soon. Uh, am I happy about it? No, do I support him, support him in it? Absolutely, I love him, I'll do anything for him. And he better bet his ass I'll be there at his graduation taking photographs of him. And uh, I better get a real handshake from a man. Right now he's just a little boy. Uh, Christine Pasilio I wanna thank too, that's Nick Misiano's girlfriend. I really wouldn't be where I'm at without that, them too. They've come, been coming out with me tonight to keep me company and Nick helping me with the video. And it's just been going really well. I really love them, really appreciate it. And I also want to do one shout out to Jared Poland for thank you for running the Fronos Photo Bootcamp because I actually met up with a woman who I did meet at the Fronos Photo Bootcamp, Andrea, and she's here now. She drove about 30 minutes from New Jersey and uh, we're going to take some fireworks. She's been telling some me stories. I've been telling her some stories. And I've also been helping her out as to where her shutter speed should be. You know, should you use bulb or anything? I don't really like to tell people what they should do. I like to say whatever works best for you. You know, I don't want to be like, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that. Because I personally don't like that. But if they're doing something wrong, I'll, I'll correct them about it and be like, why don't you do this differently next time? So once again, here at New Hope, Christine Pasilio, thank you. Nick Messiano, thank you. Andrea, thank you for coming out today. And uh, hopefully I'll get some good shots today. So.
Steve Kemp, SK Photography, photos to come. Boom, boom.